We're inside an old brewery in Liverpool, which is no longer in use. We're using a Rotolite EOS. We've got the Neo2s in flash mode, and we're using the Rotolite transmitter by Ellen Chrome, which is specifically made to interact and work with the Skyport transmitter on the Neo2. This is my type of set. Seriously, look at that. For the shot itself, we've got Beth nicely framed in the arch window and the natural light and the balance between the ambient light and what the Neo2 are giving us. It's given us a fantastic exposure and a beautiful shot. On this particular set, you can see the room is very, very dark. So we've used three lights to light our model. We've got this Neo2 here on the right hand side and this is our key light. And this is actually cast in beautiful soft light across our model. So as we move across to the other side, I don't particularly want so much shadow to one side. So we've introduced a second Neo2, which again is in flash mode, but it's providing us with constant light. As we move to the rear of the model, so the third light, another Neo2, again in flash mode, and I'll switch it on so you can see the difference. And again, we've got that constant light, which is a modeling light, which so we can see exactly where the light has fallen and it gives us the exposure which we require. Brilliant. Lovely. Push your left arm further out. Further out that way. Yeah, now bend the elbow. That's great. Oh my wordy. One of the great things about shooting with the rotor light is the round catch lights, what I created in the eyes. And these are very, very natural looking. One of the benefits of shooting rotor light LED lamps over traditional flash is that there's zero recycle time. And you're only limited to your camera's buffer how fast and how long these lights will fire for. Brilliant. I think we're done on that set now. Just on the lighting folks, I've actually used the Rotolite EOS and we're just using that to flood the back wall with colour just to add a little bit more interest into the environment. Stunning. Beautiful these Beth. For our key light to light Beth, we've used another Rotolite EOS and we've actually used the barn doors to shape and form the light. Again, the beauty about this system is they don't require any further modifications, light modifiers, soft boxes, anything like that. We get a beautifully natural soft light straight out of the lamp and it just makes life so much easier. Gorgeous. That's it. And just wrap yourself up in that dress nice and tight. Stunning. Now we'll finish with just some head and shoulder shots. Bring them up. It's almost like a prayer because your hands are going to be a big part of this shot. At least my nails look nice. Nails are beautiful. Okay, here we go to me. Yeah, one, two, three. And again. And just so you just bring your head forward. Beautiful. What we're actually doing here at the moment, we've got a blue gel on the AOS, which is behind Beth on the floor, shining through the netting, giving us a lovely blue cast throughout the dress. She's actually backless as well by the windows. That's allowing some light to fall down onto her hair, which is giving her a rim light on the back of her hair. And for the key light, we're using the Neo2. And we're using high-speed sync because we're shooting at 1 500th of a second, just to kill the ambient down in the room and to stop that light coming through being too strong in the windows at the back taking full advantage of the Ellen Crom Skyport receiver built right into the Neo2 as standard. Beautiful Beth, really nice, really good. Just look to the light this way. The Rotolite Neo, it operates on six AA batteries. It'll give us one extra stop on the exposure when we use it in flash mode. But 
The way we're using it at the moment, we're using it in directly into our auto light battery and that gives us two stops extra worth of flash power. Now, if we were using purely flash, that would be a problem because we would struggle to find focus on our subject and often in the past they'd shine a torch on our subject's face, obtain focus, remove the torch and take the shot. It's a very old fashioned way of working. This is much, much more versatile and much more effective. They're gorgeous then Beth, really are nice. I think they're done on that set now. It's always tricky this, whether you prefer to fall or drop your camera. <laughs> it's always a trade-off. We're up in the loft now of the, the brewery. So just for aid to portability, we're using the Neo 2 as a single light source. And we've just got our model standing against an open area, which is giving us some ambient coming into the room behind her. So in effect, we're blending the ambient light with the, the flashlight from the Neo 2. And then we're firing the flash to just give us that extra bit of power for the exposure we wish to make. Wow. And just with your eyes, there's your bar, but you just your eyes, don't move your head. Just with your eyes down into the camera. Beautiful. Oh my lord. Keep your hands fairly close to your body and your elbows, please, Beth, because it's such a wide angle lens. Oh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, big Maddie now, treat your hair with your hands. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Maddie. <laughs> a mad one. Oh, that would have been great. I would know if kept still. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone, don't worry. <laughs> So that's the end of the shoot. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, very much. Excellent. I've been shooting with the Sony A9 with the 12 to 24 millimeter G lens and also the 85 millimeter 1.4 G master lens. We've had the amazing rotor lights here today. Absolutely amazing lights. The quality of light they produced for us to enable us to get this shot has just been awesome. Thank you very much. And thank you to you.